Hi guys! I hope you guys have been having fun with all the space and astronaut things that we've been doing this week. Today I thought we would do a little with what do they eat in space? That's a curious question, isn't it? They have a small spaceship and they're gone a long time. So they have to figure out a way to get a lot of meals because there's quite a few crew members that go along in a small space. Most of their food comes dehydrated or freeze-dried. You guys have tried some freeze-dried fruits before. But so what they'll do is they'll put a lot of their food in little baggies and then they vacuum it out so it's so small and they store it away on their shuttle. So today we are going to make a dessert space pudding. How yummy would that, does that sound? You guys want to do it? Go ahead. I'll tell you what we need. So on the spacecraft, they use a dispenser for their water. We do not have a dispenser here today, so we are going to use a measuring cup. We have a measuring cup with a quarter cup of water in it. We're going to need the baggie to put our pudding in, scissors eventually to cut it so we can eat it, and I brought a measuring spoon. This is a tablespoon, and we are using some dry milk, powdered milk and some pudding and I decided banana cream sounded yummy for today's pudding and I think we are ready to go. So I'm going to tell you what the measurements are that I use and we'll see how this goes. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your bag and I actually pre-measured so the first thing we'll start with is our pudding and I put two tablespoons of pudding in here. So we're going to put the pudding in the bag Ta -da -da. that's one then we are gonna do the dry milk so we are gonna pour the dry milk in the bag that's three tablespoons that I used of dry milk and that is this is how it would probably go on the ship for them they get it all up they take a sealer and they vacuum all the air out and that is how they would store it so then when they're ready to eat they need the water so we're going to get our water, which I think I mentioned they have it from a dispenser. It's called potable water dispenser. Potable means it makes their water safe to drink. It takes out all the contaminants in it. And we're going to pour, are you ready, our quarter cup of water in this bag. And there we go. And then we want to get some air out. So you want to squeeze it out a little bit. Seal it up good so it doesn't spill out on you. And you have your pudding ready to mix. You just take it and you rub it and you shake it around. You want to get it all mixed up, get all the powder in there. And it's already feeling like it's working, guys. It's getting colder. It's getting firmer, just like if you were making pudding at home. And you pour it in and you see it starts getting thicker and thicker. Our pudding is getting very thick. So I got it down here, mixing it all up, making sure it's in with all the stuff. A little bit of more shaking. This is the fun part. You guys shake it, shake it, shake it, squeeze it, squish it, and get it so it's ready. Now let's look at this pudding. It's not so runny anymore, guys. We have a thick pudding that is ready to serve. If you were on the spaceship, all you need now is something to get in your bag. So you could have scissors and snip a little hole and squeeze and you are ready to go and enjoy. I hope you guys try this at home. It's a fun way to make pudding and I will remind you a little bit of how the astronaut do, astronauts do things in space when they are mixing things. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen and we will see you soon. Bye.